Yes, we need to rip up the script, Ellen, with the amazing comments by Neil Kashkari, really suggesting rather boldly that rate hikes maybe have slowed the economy, slowed job growth, and slowed wage growth. Are these rate rises having an effect? Uh, you know, I have to take exception to Kashkari's comment only because, one, we don't know the counterfactual. So could the unemployment rate be even lower had we not raised rates at all? It's possible. <laughs> Would the economy be growing faster if we hadn't raised rates at all? It's possible. <clears throat> but I look at the limiting factors on growth, uh, like productivity, growth in our labor force, general demographics. Um, and, it, you know, it, it seems to me that we're growing about right where we should be. Or, in fact, even with these rate hikes, we're growing beyond the economy's right. potential. Uh, and <clears throat> I would also say that you look at financial conditions today, our own measure shows that they're the easiest that they've been since the financial crisis. And so that would sort of suggest that the Fed has raised rates and it's had no effect so far. So I think there's a good argument against the, the raising rates have actually damaged right. the economy. So I would take exception. Ellen, you and your team, Ted Weissman and all, have written brilliantly on investment, on fixed investment in America. Folks, this is a chart we rarely show. This is invested back to the 40s. And here's 30 years of investment with a beautiful trend. It all ends in 2007. And yeah, we've come back. But Ellen, we have a $2 trillion shortfall in fixed investment to where we would have been without the crisis. What can the president do within your discussion at your Morgan Stanley conference to jumpstart investment? Well, I, I think, let me back up first and say that we are actually, we believe we are in a cyclical upturn in equipment investment in the U.S. That's borne out in the data. We're now seeing companies being rewarded for CapEx over labor because labor costs have risen to a point that we're now incentivizing CapEx over labor. So I think that, that this was a very deep, big, deep hole we've had to crawl out of in terms of investment. But it's just taken this long in the cycle to get late in the cycle enough that we are seeing a durable <coughs> cyclical pick. Up. Now, what could President Trump do on top of that? Well, certainly the types of reforms that encourage investment as a share of GDP to rise. So not just simply dropping the corporate tax rate, but doing something of real reform uh, that structurally raises investment as a share of GDP, raises that productive capacity of the economy. If it's just going to mm. be straight tax relief, honestly, Tom, that's not something that we need this late in the cycle and can actually harm the the durability of the business cycle if you punch it with too much stimulus too late 